Well, the barrage of shots that rang out at a grocery store in Tucson shocked the country. As we've been reporting, six people lost their lives. But Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords, who was shot at point-blank range in the head, was not one of them. And our senior health and medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser, is here to explain just how she survived. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Not much is known about her current condition right That's now. Right. As we heard from the mayor, uh, Mayor Walkup, they are gravely optimistic. She's believed to be sedated. But the big question is, how do you survive such a heinous attack? You know, she has already beat a lot of odds. Two-thirds of people who are shot in the head never make it to the hospital. Uh, Ninety percent of people who are shot in the head don't, don't survive. But she is, by making it to the hospital, that's already a good sign. You know, in talking to neurosurgeons about this, there are a couple critical factors. One is, where did the bullet go in and where did it come out? The fact that the bullet didn't stay in her head, that went right through, that's a good sign. Bullets that stay in the head cause a lot more damage. What we've heard is that it went in at her temple and came out her forehead. By doing that, it avoids a lot of critical structures that are located back in the deep part of the brain or if it had gone from side to side. So those are all good factors. And what we do know is that when she was rushed to the emergency room, she was able to obey doctors' commands. Yes. What are the kinds of questions they would ask her and what specifically are they looking for as far as her responses? Well, one of the first things you're taught, even as a medical student, is something called the Glasgow Coma Scale. And it's a way to rate somebody who comes in who's not fully aware. And what you look at is, are they opening and closing their eyes? Are they speaking and can they follow commands? And people who, who rate highly so they can, they can speak, they can open their eyes and they're following commands, do better long term. So they'll follow that over the entire course of her hospitalization, but it's a very good sign. And with regards to these types of brain injuries, you mentioned the rule of twos. What right. is that? Well, rule of twos, two days, two weeks, two months. First two days, looking at brain swelling, blood clots in her head, seizures, controlling those two weeks, all the things that can happen in the hospital in terms of infections and those sorts of things. And then over two months, seeing what deficits she has, what will the long-term problems be? All right, Dr. Besser, we appreciate you joining us.